allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And I'm going to ask for a moment of silence. You can either sit or stand, whatever you prefer. It's a moment of silence for our country and our world and everything that's going on right now, and it's just for our military and as a matter of respect. Thank you. Thank you. Make a motion to approve item one. I will second that motion. I have a motion by Commissioner Hall to approve the minutes of January 8th, 2020, and a second by uh, Commissioner Herschel. Are there any comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to approve item two. I will second that motion. I have a motion by Commissioner Hall to amend the minutes of the January 6, 2020 Commissioner's meeting to reflect Commissioner Arnold closing the meeting. Seconded by Commissioner Herschel. Any comments or questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to approve item three. I will second that motion. I have a motion by Commissioner Hall to change the location of the assessment revision board meetings to the Commissioner's meeting room. Seconded by Commissioner Herschel. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to approve four. I will second that motion. <coughs> Motion by Commissioner Hall to correct the motion 15 on the January 8, 2020 agenda by changing the hourly rate of the full-time corrections officer from 1451 to 1496. Seconded by Commissioner Herschel. Any questions or comments? I'd like to make a comment. Yes? Uh, I'd like to see a higher wage for corrections <coughs> officers. That not even $15 an hour is not even a living wage. And I think you should have a higher wage because you keep losing these people. They keep going to other places. Yes, we're aware of that. Thank you for your comment. Yeah, so please give them more money so you don't lose them and they can go and they can stay here in the county. Right. Thank you. They're, thank you, Vera. They're under a union contract, so they have to deal with that. But thank you, and we'll take that into consideration. Okay, you're welcome. Um, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, motion passes. Number five. I would like to make a motion um, for number five. Motion by Commissioner Herschel to correct the motion 18 on the January 8, 2020 agenda from hiring to the appointment of Francis X. O'Connor as the county solicitor. I will second that motion. Questions or comments? And why, why did Jean Greco leave? Why was, it, was he fired? Was he no, there was, the solicitor position is an appointed position by the Board of Commissioners. Oh. So it was just a, a changing of the guards, if you will. It was just a new appointment. But it was asked last time to give a reason. Yeah, so you have no you reason why you changed uh, solicitors, why you reappointed somebody else? You must have a reason. You don't just do things for nothing. Just thought it was time for a change. New eyes, new board, yeah, you got going tired forward. You got tired of Gene Greco? He did a fine job. Yeah. Well, my question is that um, all of these other ones that's been brought up in the past were the same. And I don't have any objections to our Connor at all either. But the others were, if you look at any of these agendas, at least the others were, you know, with regret or some kind of comment to thank them for their service. And it was not done with him. And I felt it was very disgr disgraceful the way this was done. Okay, thank you for your <coughs> comment. All in favor? Aye. Aye. No. Motion. Upstains, okay. No. Motion number six. Motion to approve six. I will second that motion. I have a motion by Commissioner Hall and a second by Commissioner Herschel for the disbursement journal. Um, any questions or comments? Yes. Okay. Can you tell us a little bit about what goes into the general expenses that's mentioned twice here? These are our bills that run the county. These are all the bills that we pay um, from children and youth expenses, general expenses, net wages, the plicket expenses, federal payroll. It's Pretty self-explanatory. These are the bills that we have to pay every month and yearly. But it's not self-explanatory. Are these general okay. expenses broken out when you look at the budget? Yes, they are. They're included in everybody's budget. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion carries. Motion approved seven. I will second that motion. 
Motion by Commissioner Hall to ratify and approve the following seminar requests and payment for seminar requests. Seconded by Commissioner Herschel. Questions or comments? Yes. Um, what positions are held by the individuals that will be receiving this training? Bruce Butler, Brad Ellsworth, Jeff Oleniak. They are in our 911 and our EMA. Mark Shelp, Joshua Weller, run our prison. Chad Weaver is in Children and Youth. Thank you. You're welcome. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion to approve eight. I'll second that motion. Now, motion by Commissioner Hall, second by <coughs> Commissioner Arnold to sign the amendment of the town release between Susquehanna County, Daniel Kopik, Eric Kopik, and Natasha Kopik for a lease in the amount of 24000 per year, effective December 31st, 19, 2019 through December 31st, 2020, per the recommendation of Bruce Butler. All in favor? Of questions and comments, I'm sorry. This is a, a tower lease for what, just for 911? Yes. And you're paying 24000 per year for this? Yes. And where is this tower? Where is this property? What township? I believe this is in Clifford Township. Is it not in Clifford Township? No, this is Susquehanna Town. Susquehanna area. area. We have one in Clifford and one in Susquehanna, I'm sorry. And you're paying also in Clifford, also 24000 I believe that's a different amount. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I will be abstaining. That was prior to my beginning on the 6th of January. Okay. Thank you. Number nine. Motion approved nine. I will second that motion. A motion by Commissioner Hall to approve the MOU with Penn State Extension for services with 4-H Master Gardeners and Programming, effective January 1st, 2020 through <coughs> December 31st, 2020, and the total amount of $170,126.15 to be made in quarterly payments. Any questions or comments? Yes. Yeah. Can you explain more about what the services that 4-H Master Gardener and the Programming actually involve? Well, we have one of the biggest 4-H programs in the state, I'm proud to say as well as our Master Gardeners program. We have close to 50 people in our Master Gardeners program and over 300 children, about 340 children in our 4-H uh, program. And so this is all through Penn State and we help them with funding. I thought those were um, volunteer positions, so I'm not sure where no, $170,000 is going. No, your 4-H leaders are volunteers, which we couldn't do the program without our volunteers. We're very fortunate that we have the volunteers that we have in this county. But the Penn State runs our program. This pays for our educator, the office staff, and the assistant down there. Okay, so this pays for the, the employee wages then? Yes. And it seems like a lot of money for that. It is, yeah. And where is this office where the, these people are being paid? It's on 88 Shenango Street, right? It's been there so for they're, they're years. being paid for their services. So they're from Penn State? They're not like, are they local? Well, people? they're local people. We've been fortunate enough to find local people right here in the county to fill the position. Huh. But they're Penn State employees. And how many people are being paid the 170000 Um there's three people down there at this time. Three and a half, I think. We have a, a summer intern, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, summer intern. And is this your budget normally? Like last year was similar? How many years have you been paying this? It's been going on for a while? It's gone up a little bit over the last couple of years just because of expenses going up. But it was in this ballpark last year. Mm -hmm. so who's the head of this uh, office now? Sarah Sesson is our 4-H educator. What's the average salary paid to these people? You know, I don't have that answer. I'll have to get back to you on that. So if it's three oh. people, that I could divide 170000 by three and come up with that number? Is that true? Um, they might have different ones. If she's the director, she might, Sarah might get more than the others. You don't know. I'll have to look into their salaries. I don't have that number in my head. I'm sorry. Hmm. Can I get a... There was a gentleman over here that raised his hand in the back. Sir, did you have a question? Well, as long as we're on the salary... Is she still on salary for anything, for anything else? Sarah Sesson? Uh-huh. Mm, not that I'm aware of. She was on our election board the last election. Is that what you're talking about? What did she make for that? Did she make on that? Alan, can you answer that question? What did she make for that? <coughs> I don't know off the top of my head. We'll have to look into that and get back to you with that. Okay. All right. Very good. <coughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion approved, number 10. I will second that motion. 
Okay. Motion by Commissioner Hall to approve the sending of postcards to all active voters in Susquehanna County to inform of changes to the upcoming <coughs> primary election, including dates and deadlines. Seconded by Commissioner Herschel. Questions or comments? Yes. Um, this doesn't show a cost. We don't have an exact cost on that now. <coughs> be around eight or nine thousand. Mr. Hall says be around eight or nine thousand. We talked about this just last Friday, actually. Was there another question? This is going to include information regarding Act Seventy Seven. I don't believe it is. It's a postcard. It's giving you the dates and the changes on it. I don't believe it's going that far. Well, you can put a link to a website for it to find out what it's about. It's going to affect all of us. Okay, we can take that under consideration. It's on the postcard. Is it on the postcard? Yeah. Okay, right at the very bottom then. Right on the front. Vote, vote okay. PA. All right. <coughs> right around here. Yes, changes? The changes of the dates of all the, elect the election and the deadlines of when you can register and now you can um, you can vote. We're going to have a precinct here actually and you will be able to vote. Everybody will be able to vote absentee votes, that type of thing. We can get you a postcard as soon as we get it printed. Yes, Bruce? I would like to make a comment about the change to, to the election laws. Voting by mail is overwhelmingly open to fraud. Yep. Whether you are left, right, middle, or, or from out of space. Incredible fraud. So I, there's my comment. So I hope that you're going to prepare very carefully for that. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you for your comment. Okay, um, motion approved. You motion? No. You got it? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion approved 11. I will second that motion. Motion by Commissioner Hall to open award the highest responsible bidder for the 2013 Chevy Traverse and the 2013 Chevy Equinox. Seconded by Commissioner Herschel. We'll do that now. Noah Gaston. This is for the Chevy. Um, his high bid is eight thousand dollars. Chevy what? Chevy Traverse. Okay. No, no, no. This one. Shane Lewis is putting in a bid of one thousand two hundred and fifty dollars. For the Traverse. For the tra Chevy Traverse. Mm -hmm. These are all the Traverses. Joshua Stroll would like to submit a bid of eight hundred dollars for the 2013 Chevy Traverse. And who used these cars? Where, is, where are they from? What department? Children and Youth. Yusuf Dabu. Yep, that's right. Um, he's giving us an offer of $3,568 on the Chevy Traverse. There you go. Here's your winner right here. Awesome. Lewis W. Green, Jr. is giving us an offer on the Chevy Traverse of $8,050. We'll that's, that's the highest bidder. Now we have these for auction. Sean M. Krause has put an offer in of $2,167 on the Chevy Equinox. Yusuf Dabu has put in an offer of $1,768 on the Chevy Equinox. Shane Lewis has put an offer in of $615.50 on the 2013 Chevy Equinox. This is the winner, there you go. Melissa Jackman has put in a bid of $6,600 on the Chevy Equinox. Excellent. So. And what's the mileage on these cars? Is it over 100000 Yes. <sighs> okay. Do we have, um, are we all in favor of accepting these bids on these two vehicles? 
Yes. 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 Aye. <coughs> Number 12. Motion approved 12. I will second that vote. Motion from Commissioner Hall to enter into the web program enrollment agreement with CCAP Technology Web Services for web hosting platform update, the Keneco EMS software, and support for a one time payment of $7,500, effective January 1st, 2020 through December 31st, 2020, per the recommendation of IT Director Stephen Janowski. I have a second from Commissioner Herschel. Any questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion approved 13. I will second that motion. Motion by Commissioner Hall to approve and purchase the two hydraulic dock doors and one shelter for the doors at the Susquehanna County Recycling Center at the cost of $12,581 per the recommendation of Director of Maintenance Jim Hawley. I have a second by Commissioner Herschel. Any questions or comments? Are you still losing money at the uh, recycling plant? Are you making any profit or what's the story? I don't think we're making any profit. So little. Pardon me? So little. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion approved 14. I will second that motion. The motion by Commissioner Hall to approve the replacement of the control panel on the sewer system at this uh, SCCF at a cost of 16422 per the recommendation of Director of Maintenance Jim Hawley. I have a second by Commissioner Herschel. Any questions or comments? And what's SCCF? It's the prison. Facility prison. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion approved 15. I will second that motion. Motion by Commissioner Hall to accept any price negotiated by the Tax Claim Bureau to sell free and clear from the 2020 repository properties <coughs> with the taxing district's written approval. Seconded by Commissioner Herschel. Any questions or comments? Hearing when none, will they, when will they sell these things? Mm. Is there a date for the selling of free and clear? Yeah, I'll have to ask uh, Jason Miller, your treasurer. We'll have to ask him. Jason Miller, please. Mm -hmm, you can. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion approved 16. I'll second that motion. With commission, uh, motion by Commissioner Hall to advertise for public bid one Smith Hyman X ray unit from the Susquehanna County Correctional Facility, serial number 7144, in the newspaper and on municipid.com. Seconded by Commissioner Herschel. Any questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion approved 17. I will second that motion. Motion by Commissioner Hall to approve the purchase of EMD fire and police protocol software implementation, training, and go live processes from APCO Institute per the recommendation of Bruce Butler, Director of Public Safety 911. Seconded by Commissioner Herschel. Any questions or comments? Is there a price for it? There's no price on it. Yep. Yeah. Got it. Where is it? Sure. Yeah. $74,008.94 on that one. That's the price for all the uh, software training. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yep. Classes, EMD, guide card rack, law enforcement class, six weeks, law enforcement instructor upgrade, law enforcement student manual, fire class online, six weeks, fire instructor upgrade. Stuff and are you going to include, make sure you have all this gas, since we have the gas industry here so prominent, make sure they get trained for any kind of fires, explosions, that's going to be included in there, and dealing with chemicals. They've been doing chemicals that. Chemicals going through town every hour under high pressure, so make sure they get trained for that. Okay. Where's the payment from this coming out of, coming out of general fund, Act 13 funds? 911 funding. 
does the go live process is what I have questions about how that works. Is that something that you know, go live? Does that mean that it's going to be transmitted like for everybody online? Is that what goes over the television? Yeah, it's it's um, part of that is for um, is for all the uh, first responders and everything. Uh, so they have live interaction with all of them. As far as uh, uh, there is notification systems for the public, we have some of those now, so those will be included too. So that is included in that. So for the most part, it's, it's mainly, mainly for the emergency responders? Mostly for the emergency responders, but we still have the code red system. We still have other alert systems that the public can get on that we still push out to venues for people to know that they can sign up for it. And can you include, make sure it gets better to notify the public. So when you have like uh, gas leaking from the compressor stations or from a site, that people are notified in that area that they don't have to drive through it and be exposed to that gas. We've had people get exposed to areas where these exposures are happening. We need to be notified on red alert for any gas explosions, any gas leakage, any crashes of these gas vehicles. So that we know, if we can, we can avoid it. Okay. And is that going to be included? Is that is that a, are people aware of this? We'll look into all that. So it's all good ideas, Vera. Thank you for bringing it to the, our attention. You're welcome. Thank you. <coughs> okay. Do we have a vote on that? All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Motion to approve item 18 with the cost of fifty-two thousand one hundred thirty-one dollars and fifty-five cents from nine one one funding. I will second that. Commissioner, uh, motion by Commissioner Hall to approve the purchase of a 911 recorder and QA system for Avatide Nextlog Interaction Insight Court, New York, at a cost of $52,131.55. Seconded by Commissioner Herschel. Questions or comments? All in favor? Oh, I'm Question sorry, Bruce. I'm sorry. What is that? This is more of what in Bruce's department. Is. Okay. Dual hot swap power supplies, equipment, Blu-ray drive, channel input cards and licenses, web access playback licenses, quality assurance licenses, integrated 7-inch color LCD touchscreen displays. It's their equipment and stuff that they use to run their department. Screen recording for 10 PCs. Installation, programming, and training. Evertide interface licenses. Tyler CAD integration. Okay. Okay. So <laughs> when I talk to Bruce, it's like talking, and he talks another language to me. <laughs> but he does a fantastic job, his whole department does. We're in good hands there. Um, okay, can I have a vote on that? Aye. 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 Thank you. Motion approved, number 19. I will second that. Motion by Commissioner Hall to enter into a right of way agreement with Daniel and Rhonda Wright, Clifford for the Department of Safety 911 use of property located in Clifford Township at a cost of $365 per year per the recommendation of Bruce Butler. Seconded by Commissioner Herschel. Questions or comments? Yeah, do you need any more sites for towers? That's a pretty good deal. 24000 a year and then 400 for the right of way. No, do you need any I more sites? I think we're good right now. <laughs> I think we're good right now. <laughs> Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion 20. Motion approved item 20. I will second that motion. The motion by Commissioner Hall to ratify and approve the hiring of Edward Bocan Thompson to the open part-time union eligible position of corrections officer at $14.96 per hour. Varied hours effective January 9th, 2020 with a six-month probation period and benefits according to the jail bargaining unit and the county policy manual. Per the recommendation of Warden Mark Shelp. Seconded by Commissioner Herschel. Questions or comments? Can you find out what they're paying in the, the other counties, Lackawanna County, Luzerne County, for their corrections officers? Because you keep having a massive turnover and flight from this county. So do you know what they're paying in these other counties? Because they want they want a better job. So this looks like a low pay. We know. So, so what, is, what are they paying yeah. in Luzerne? Do you know? Find I out. don't know. I'm not Lackawanna my County, Luzerne, all those areas, they're only bordering our county. So mm -hmm. let's say they're paying $18 an hour or whatever. You've got to see if you can match it because you yeah. claim this is a... Oh, wait a minute, Vera. You can't match a Class 2 or 3 county with rural Susquehanna County. 
the people in our county don't make the money that people in Luzerne County or Lackawanna County make. So. You, you told us this. Uh, you, I keep hearing how it's a rich county. You, I you didn't don't say. Well, no, wait a minute. Now, again, don't twist words because that's what you're doing. No, I just didn't because. Now, wait a minute. I'm speaking now. Good. Just, just because some people have gotten gas money doesn't mean everybody in this community has gotten gas money. We still have the highest rate of kids in schools on free and reduced lunches. So we're not a rich county. Certain people are rich, but the county's not rich. Well, you haven't had to raise taxes for years, and you seem to be a... So you're saying we should raise taxes? No, you shouldn't raise taxes, but you've got to meet this because you've got to turn over every month, looks like. I well, know. and we can't compete with state or federal corrections. How about Lackawanna County? It's just next door. Well, Lackawanna County, we're probably comparable. I wonder, I wonder too, what Bradford is paying. Yeah. They're, ne they're next door, too. Yeah, we Check leave. them out. Well, we have. Thank you. You're welcome. I have a question. Commissioner Arnold, you said you have checked. So what was the salary? The start, we have found that our start salaries are a little low at the, at the jail. The upper end salaries are fine. Okay. Uh, but the start salaries, we do realize they are low. The same with the uh, sheriff's department. We have uh, done a salary survey. We've gotten that information. We've contacted the union and asked to sit down and have a conversation about it. The union's refused to meet with us. Is there anything you can do to encourage that meeting to happen? We've done everything we can to encourage the union to meet with us, and they refuse to meet with us. Ooh. And would the public help at all with that? Probably not. Woo! They're not from this area. so. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> Motion 21. Move to approve 21. I will second that motion. Motion by Commissioner Hall to ratify and approve the hiring of Brent <coughs> Bisagni. Is that my saying that right? Probably not. Bisagni. Springville to the open part-time <coughs> union eligible position of corrections officer at 1496 per hour, very hours, effective January 14, 2020, with a six-month probation period and benefits according to the jail bargaining union in the county policy manual, per the recommendation of Warden Mark Shell. I have a second by Commissioner Herschel. Are there questions and comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion approved 22. I will second that motion. Motion by Commissioner Hall to ratify. And approve with regret the resignation of Tricia Franks from the position of part-time corrections officer effective January 20, 2020, per Warden Mark Shell. Seconded by Commissioner Herschel. Do you have any questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion approved 23. I will second that. Motion by Commissioner Hall to ratify and approve the hiring of Christina Lyons Montrose to the open part-time union eligible position of corrections officer 1496 per the Hour varied hours effective January 14th, 2020. Seconded by Commissioner Herschel. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion approved 24. I'll second that motion. Motion by Commissioner Hall to accept with regret the retirement resignation of Robert Templeton, Director of Planning, effective April 30th, 2020. Seconded by Commissioner Herschel. Questions or comments? Yeah. With um, Planning Director Templeton's retirement, that leaves um, a, quite a void in that in that office. Um, and I understand GIS has been kind of operating together, but they, but to the best of my knowledge, those offices have not been officially joined together. Do the commissioners have a plan on how to incorporate the office? And prior to this. That, that retirement date's coming up quick. Yes, it is. We're aware of that. And we thank Bob. He's been here 30 years. Um, and we're working on that, integrating that. Do you have any comment to that? Um, as you know, if you go back in your records far enough, you'll find that we took the uh, James Kane, uh, who was in GIS, and he's also, after Eleanor left, is the Deputy Director of Planning. Right. So he, of course, has been learning all that stuff and been working with Bob. And as far as the future with the GIS, I would expect most likely that once we get to a plan that you'll see those departments officially joined. All in favor? Aye. 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 Motion number 25. Motion to approve 25. I'll second that motion. 
Motion by Commissioner Hall to ratify and approve the termination of Richard Schultz from the position of full-time correction sergeant, shift commander, effective January 10th, 2020, per the recommendation of Warden Mark Schultz, seconded by Commissioner Herschel. Questions or comments? All in favor? I don't think Aye. that's a comment back there, is it? No. Aye. Motion to approve 26. I'll second that motion. Motion by Commissioner Hall to accept the proposal from Rug Fair Commercial and Industrial um, Company, Incorp, a division of Endwell Rug Company, Endwell, for contract PC 67778 in the amount of $34,785.50 estate pricing for courtroom number one renovations, per the recommendation of President Judge Jason Leg. I have a second by Commissioner Herschel. Questions or comments? Yes, sir. Before we get to public comment, because it'll be too late then to ask this question, will the camera be on after the commissioner's meeting right now is over? Because the last two meetings, it was not, a, you were not able to get it when you went to look for the uh, meeting on YouTube. Hmm. There was no... Was you mean during the public comment Commission? section? Or, or? Yes, okay. they were gone. It just cut okay. off right after the meeting. Okay. Yeah, we were told last week that it would continue to run, and it did okay. not. Okay. It, it ran. It ran from the beginning till the end of the salary board. It was shut off for a moment, minute. It was put back on for the election board. Um, we had one of our uh, deputy uh, chief clerk was out sick, so all that uh, came upon me to get on. And so it was delayed getting on uh, the web, but everything is there. Okay. As Thank of when? No, the comments afterwards were. <laughs> Well, once the meeting was once the meeting was adjourned, um, after the salary board, the camera did go off just like it does normally. Yay! Then it was restarted for the election board. Right, but Commissioner Arnold told us last week that it would continue to run through the public comments. Public comments were not taken into consideration for that taking. It was shut off and it, it did not air. But you're saying it shut off on its own volition. We've Nobody we've pushed always, it. We've always done it once the meeting is adjourned. After the meetings, the camera is turned off. Once the meetings adjourned, it's adjourned. It's adjourned. Once it's adjourned, it was adjourned. The camera was turned off after the salary board, and then restarted at, for the election board. Once the election board was adjourned, it was then turned off as a normal process every week. Every we were other. told in the beginning of that meeting that it would continue to run through public comments. Now, so I think adjourned. the answer to the riddle, if I can, so we can not spend another half hour on this. Uh, the camera will be on until the meeting is adjourned. Public comment is before the meeting is adjourned. Mm -hmm. Once we have public comment, then we adjourn the meeting, then the meeting's done. And just for a point of clarity, public comment was taken at the beginning, the beginning of the meeting. Yes, it was. Thank you. But it was also toward the end because we had some that we had to go back to. We'll ensure that that part is taped. The public comment is well, once taped. it's adjourned, it's once it's adjourned, it's done. Yeah, yeah. It's once time. it's adjourned, it's, it's done. Yeah, sure. Yes. Did the election board meeting come under a separate title? Did you get that on? On it's YouTube. On. It's not under a separate title uh, that I'm aware of. It's under the commissioners' meeting um, as an election board meeting. So I would have to go to Susquehanna County Commissioners meeting. Of the of July, uh, June, uh, January 8th, and I would have to say election board meetings to know that it was there. Uh, if you go into it, if you're entering it from the YouTube site, uh, you will see the date and it should be under that. If I go to the web page, what am I going to see on the web page? I'm going to see commissioner meeting agendas. The date. Am I going to see salary board uh, on no, there? I'm just going to see commissioner's meeting. Uh, agenda, I believe. Well, we need to get it split okay. out. We need to have we need to have commissioners meeting. We need to have salary board. We need to have election board. They're all split out separately so people can see them. Yeah, I agree. Shut off. It's not shut off. No, I'm saying in between those meetings, right. then they are separate meetings. Right. According to the camera. Right. So yeah, we can get that fixed. We can get that taken care of. Okay, so that was a lot of public comment right there, but we were on 26, I believe. So um, can we get um, a vote on the carpet for the courtroom? Aye. Yes. Aye. Thank you. Okay, now we're public comment, which we did a lot of public comment. Okay, we have a guest here. Mary Ann Culver is here. Would you have a yes. hello? Thank Good you for morning. coming. Good morning. Uh, Good morning. Just tell everybody Good morning. who you are. 
Uh, my name is Marianne Fulbert. I'm the administrator for the Lachlan Susquehanna Behavioral Health Intellectual Disabilities Early Intervention Program Office. And I'm joined today by our advisory board chair, Martin McGurn. Uh, we are here today to uh, welcome uh, the uh, Board of Commissioners. Congratulations on your recent election. And welcome to Commissioner Herschel. And we understand that you've been appointed to uh, represent the Board of Commissioners on our advisory board. Have, yes. And we look forward to working with you for the next four years. Uh, to provide uh, behavioral health, intellectual disability, and early intervention services to the citizens of Susquehanna County. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you for coming up today to see us. Stacy, did you have a question? I do. Um, going back to the last meeting and the minutes from the last meeting, there were um, a number of motions where Commissioner Herschel abstained, and yet no reason for any abstention was given. And that was my error, Stacey. So. It was, um, those were items that were brought up prior to me beginning, though I was sworn in on the 31st of December, I did not start until the 6th. So those decisions made prior to that, I abstained from. So. Um, Thank you for bringing that up. Though. But it's just, you know, to have the abstention, and a reason for an abstention should be on the record. Mm -hmm. And another one, um, <clears throat> the Excellence in County Gov Government Seminar, both Commissioners Arnold and Herschel are have been processed to go, but I was <coughs> under the belief that only one commissioner or one person per county. No, only the, the only the and only to save us a lot of time. Sorry. The uh, only the CEL program, the CEL program can only have one commissioner okay. from each mm -hmm. county, um, and that is of course one that I did. Uh, but that's a three-day uh, event that, that takes place. The, and it's actually the Academy of Excellence. Uh, the Academy of Excellence is training in county government, okay. in policies, procedures, budgeting, and everything else, mm -hmm. risk management, and all of that stuff, which are classes that can be taken either at conferences or in Scranton or at CCAP. So should that just be, I mean, maybe in the future amended? To reflect the, the name of the proper program, name. the proper name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have to do that, Stacey. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for bringing that up. Any other comments? We have to. Yeah. We have to turn. You want to say anything? No. Yes, Okay. I just want to make public so the public knows the dangers that we have faced <coughs> with high pressure compressed gas trucks that go through Montrose, all the way from Springville, to New Milford, to 81, also from Forest Lake, we get dozens and dozens of them every day. Super high pressure, compressed gas trucks. They've been in 11 accidents so far in about two and a half years. This is XNG in Forest Lake, <coughs> NG in Springville. They've lost two drivers to death the past couple of months. One died in New York driving the trucks, one died in Massachusetts. The one in New York is from Halstead, Pennsylvania. We need to know that they're traveling through Montrose every day. And anything can happen in a more populated section like the borough of Montrose. And I want the public to know what's going on because I don't read about it anywhere. I don't hear anybody talking about it. And this is something that needs to, we need to be aware of. I don't know what your commissioners can do about it or what Lance, our sheriff, can do about it. I want him to be aware of it. These trucks have 1971 on them in a, in a red triangle indicating that they are flammable, they are explosive. So we need to be careful about what's happening to our county okay. and what has been allowed in this county. So that's my comment for the public. Thank you for your comment, Gira. You're welcome. <laughs> Along that line, I'd like to add a comment that there is a lot of issues with these trucks speeding through these towns. And I know we're Halstead, a 25 zone, and I know that that is the state police, but a 25 zone, you can clock them going through at 55. Um, that's a concern. Thank you. Yes, Colleen. Um, but a different subject. And, um, 
last week we started doing public comment before. You didn't. I guess we kind of expected that again this week because you didn't say that we were going to change back. But um, I do appreciate the minutes being put on the website. However, my website was down again. So that brings me to the internet issues. Have we gotten any farther on any of that? Do we have any updates um, as far as where we're going to go with any of that? Still working on it, still having conversations, still doing investigative work on it. You want to talk to that, Alan? You put money up for that? Um, studies? Still doing studies. You know, I don't know if you read the paper, Frontiers, about ready to file bankruptcy. Um, we are doing um, uh, GIS maps, overlays of who has fiber optic in the area. Uh, we're finding that there is quite a bit of fiber optic out there that people probably don't know about, like from... Um, uh, Zito Media and uh, NEPA or NEP and uh, and from uh, Spectrum. So there's a lot of stuff that's out there, uh, but uh, studies are still being done. Uh, I know there was a big meeting in Washington uh, around the circus that's going on down there now uh, that they had about uh, broadband and internet service. So, and, you know, everybody's talking about trying to figure out a solution to the problem. So. I was going to say, because if they're talking about going out of business like that, where does that leave us with our telephones, too? I mean, there's... Well, so somebody, will, somebody will take it over. I mean, it's just a question of who it's going to be, or is Frontier just, you know, filing bankruptcy for that business and, and started another business to take it over just to, to shield all their debt? I don't know. So we're still waiting for, like, last year, you put money in the home having... Um, some kind of surveys and stuff. Yeah, like that's, so that's being that done back. now. So that's going to take a while to get done. Okay, the other um, comment that I want to question maybe uh, is about the roads. We also discussed some conditions, and I know a lot of this stuff has to do with the and so on and so forth, but I, was re I realized the other day that there are some of the roads that are state roads are under contract with our townships. And I understand that there are some townships that have incredible problem getting some of these roads fixed. I know Jessup Township, was, which is ours, and I don't go to a lot of the meetings because um, I feel that Jessup Township is doing a good job. Our roads are generally very well taken care of out there. I know they're one of the ones that have contracts with some of these um, state roads to take care of some of the state dirt roads. So I guess my question is, why do some of the other townships not follow the same, follow the same standard and pick up some of those contracts with them so that they can take care of these dirt roads for these people? <coughs> Well, we have township folks sitting here in the audience, so I don't know how they can. You guys want to jump you on that? Jump on that? <laughs> <laughs> you guys want to take care of the state road? Great. <laughs> I got to move now. <laughs> <laughs> it just ain't worth the aggravation. Stuff you have to go through to be able to do it. The paperwork and everything. It just sometimes ain't worth it. There's a lot of paperwork when you start getting involved with PennDOT and the union taking over contracts. Fire. Well, and I'm not so sure I'm saying, are you actually taking over our contract or are you just contracting with well, you get, um, them to do a certain part of the job? You get a so section of the road so many miles, they'll contract you, they pay you so much a mile, the plows sit there. And sometimes it just ain't worth the aggravation. <coughs> like my side, where I am, a little township, it would cost us more money to do that than we would get back from paying to do that <coughs> We'd have to hire another guy, which our tax level wouldn't allow us to pay the extra out. We wouldn't make enough off of it. So it's just easy to leave it alone on our end over our way. Thank you. Bruce, did you have something you wanted to add? Well, the statement was made that uh, Chester Township had taken, uh, we have state road. The only state road that I know of that we have back, we took over years ago. And we get paid so much mile. Otherwise than that, that is the only state road that we took back. But that was happened years ago. And you own that road now? Yes. Yeah, it's not like the state owns it and you're doing the work for them. And that but that it was turned back to a township road and that that is it. Mm -hmm. Uh we we get so much liquid fuels money for it and mm -hmm. that's it. But it was back in the early eighties when that was taken back over. But that is the only one that I know of in that township. Okay. Thank you, Bruce, for that. Okay. Okay. We have another question. A different topic. Um, Hi. There's a couple of artesian wells that people get water from. 
one on Bank Street and one on 167. Have they even been tested to see if they're clean? Not our responsibility. And if they're not tested, can they be tested? First of all, it's not our responsibility. They're privately owned wells. Um, so you'd have to talk to the owner of that well down there, and I'm not even sure who owns it at this point. Over the one on Bank Street, have to talk to Diaz, maybe? Mm -hmm. Whoever owns it. He could be. You'd have to talk to them about that, Frank. Okay. All right. And if, if there's a certain amount of people that use the wells, I've talked to DEP about it. If it's at least 25 people use these so-called private wells, DEP needs to be notified, and they will come in and test. That's great. So, great news. Thank you for that. Yeah, thank you. Motion to adjourn. No second. Nobody else wants to speak. That's oh. it. <laughs> We've got two more meetings. Okay. Motion by Commissioner, are we good? Commissioner Hall made a motion to close the meeting. Second by Commissioner Herschel. All in favor? Aye. 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 Meeting's adjourned at 9.45. Salary board. Now we have a salary board meeting. Call meeting to order. Call the meeting to order at 9.45. Motion to approve item number one. I'll second that motion. We have a motion by Commissioner Hall to approve the minutes of the January 8th, 2020 Salary Board meeting. Second by Commissioner Herschel. Question, or questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Item number two, motion to approve item two. I'll second that motion. Motion by Commissioner Hall to rescind the motion from the January 8th, 2020 Salary Board to eliminate the part-time temporary position of real estate clerk for the Sheriff's Office. Seconded by Commissioner Herschel. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Approve item number three with a change for the recommendation of Robert Hyde, Chief Clerk. I'll second that motion with that change in place. Mm -hmm. Questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Public Aye. comments on the salary board. Hearing none, I'll ask for motion a motion. Motion to adjourn. Motion by Commissioner Hall. I'll, I'll second it. Yeah, you can like I said, just mm -hmm. right. Seconded by Kushner Herschel. Mm -hmm. Meetings closed at 946. Yeah, just don't approve or do anything else. Just stick to those two. So we have election board. They're out in the hall. Yeah. I have to leave. I have to go to another meeting. So. Thank you, Commissioner Hall. Do you have anything to sign? Yeah, they're all fine. You're all right? Yeah, I'm good. Are they out here? Let me get them in here. I think they're in the hallway. We have an election board meeting now. Either way, either one. Come on in. Hi. Good Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you. Good to see you. No, he's not going to be done. Okay. Good, yours. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Jameson. Please. Hello. Good morning. Okay, we'll call this um, election board meeting at 9.47. Can I have a motion for number one? No, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. It's towards the end. Okay, from the end. Oh, sure. Nancy, did you get yours? the minutes. You're just approving the minutes oh, yeah. of the November 8th election board meeting. I make a motion to approve the minutes of November 8th. I'll second. Okay, I have a motion by um, Sarah Sesson to approve the minutes of the November 8th election board meeting, seconded by Nancy Jackson. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I will nope. be abstaining. We were not part of that. that election board. We both abstain. Motion number two. So moved. Can I have a second? Second. Approved. Sarah, I have a motion by Chris Caterson to approve the minutes of December 4th election board meeting, seconded by Sarah Sesson. All in favor? Aye. Aye. I abstain. We abstain. It's prior to us mm -hmm. being here. Motion for number three. That will be you guys. I approve the minutes of the January 8th election board meeting. And I will second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Public comment? 
Yes. I'd like to know if all of the minutes of all of the meetings of the election board from 2000, beginning of 2019 to the end of 2019 are correct. Because I had a request to write, write to know the minutes of the meetings. And I got them. And I had time to go over the minutes of the meetings, looking at the advertising done for the meetings, and various other things that had to do with the meetings. And I don't think these are a reflection properly of what actually transpired. Now, I know the February 13, 2019 meeting was correct because it was taken. The three commissioners were here. The March 28, 2019 meeting was a casting of lots. And the meeting opened at 12 noon, closed at 12.08 on a Thursday, no problem. The May 3rd, 2019 meeting was a meeting with the election board proxies. The meeting opened at 9. And it adjourned at 9.07. They reviewed a complaint by the election board, sent to the election board. And at the end of the minutes, it states, Commissioner Hall declared the election board meeting adjourned at 9.07. How could he have been at the meeting and adjourn it? That's number one. Can you give me the date of that meeting again? The meeting was held on May 3rd. The next meeting was May 24th. The proxy meeting began at 9 and it adjourned at 9.15. It states, Member Solicitor John Grieco called the meeting to order. I don't think that's possible. Motion by Commissioner Warren to approve the minutes of May 3rd, 2019. I don't think that's possible. Second by Commissioner Arnold. I don't think that's possible. June 3rd. The meeting opened at 9 p.m. and closed at 9.15 p.m. Return Board reviewed the provisional ballots for 40 election districts in 15 minutes. I have a, a, a sample ballot that came in, and it was absolutely an error. That was a sample ballot back in the spring. The provisional ballots have to really be looked into. You did it in 40, 40 districts in 15 minutes? Okay. Oh, and it was at 9.15 p.m. July 3rd, the election board met again at 9 p.m. and adjourned at 9.05 p.m. And it was called the casting of ties. It's the casting of lots to break ties. All three newspapers where this was noticed, shade, the, the meeting time was scheduled for 12 p.m. noon. But it took place at 9 p.m. in the evening. Okay? This is the best. September 17th, the board opened at 9.15 a.m. and adjourned at 9.45. Motion by Member Sasson to approve the minutes of May 24th, 2019, the election board meeting. Second by Member Cadison. The minutes of May 24th state that Solicitor John Grieco was present at the meeting and the Commissioner Mary Ann Warren approved the minutes with a second from Commissioner Arnold. Members of some motion to approve those minutes. How can that be? Neither of the commissioners would have been permitted at the September 17th meeting, and they could not have possibly approved minutes for a meeting they never attended. Mm -hmm. The minutes also state that the election board approved the 2019 general election ballots. 40 election district ballots proofed along with the other business in a 30-minute meeting? I don't think so. I think the public. These are supposed to be documents that are on file and legitimate and provable, and they're not. I questioned Mary Ann Warren and asked her, were you at that meeting that they said she was at? No. Were you at a meeting? No. I don't think that the Commission of Law was at a meeting either. No. This is a disgrace. Absolute disgrace. 
these records are supposed to be by, uh, actually provable. They are public records. This is a falsification of public records. Well, I don't know who wrote these things, but I would like to know because you were paid with my money. You have every right to be concerned. I what, am very concerned because these what, are not the facts. These what are not we the can truth. do. The, the public has been defrauded. We don't have the, 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 the we don't have them the, the board meetings for the election board on tape. We have to now go search for them. We have meetings being cut off by whatever process. And then we have this. So you're allowing for these minutes, and I'm wondering, are they true? Did you see the minutes? Or are you just saying, I agree with the minutes? Do you know? Maybe they came off at 9, nine maybe they came off at 1 a.m. in the morning. I can't answer that because I, 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 I can't I know personally. You can. but, You're but the only what, one there who cannot. But what I can't say is that we will definitely... Definitely. This has to be looked into because this has to go to Harrisburg to be determined as to what transpired here. When we're done here, let me get your information too, and and we'll be in correspondence. But I do want to make my, my last remark. This is okay. yeah. despicable. It's disgraceful. This is not where people who have been hired to do a job have done their job, and we paid for it. We paid for it twice with a proxy board and a regular board. And by the way, one more comment. It would behold the commissioners, when you have a proxy board, to at least take the minutes and look at them. Don't tell me you're not allowed to do it. You are. You're allowed to sit in an election board meeting because that's your right as a, as a, a citizen. And if you have a question, damn it, ask it. This is the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. And if I didn't take the time to go through it, I would never know. I mean, you have an, a, we're, we're going to meet at 12 noon, but we met at 9 p.m. Okay, so I, I say, and I have a comment and a motion to make. Um, I do realize that I was the one that made the motion to approve the minutes from the main meeting. I take responsibility for not noticing that part as far as the commissioners being there. Um, in that instance, I probably looked at what it was that we had covered to ensure that, that part of it was correct. Um, I do make a motion that, where's Melissa, that, because I know all of us took notes and wrote down times and stuff like that from previous minutes or meetings, hopefully they're still in the office, so I make a motion that those are gone through, and then at some point we'll have to make an amendment, come in and approve an amendment to the minutes for that. So I'm sorry is the, re is the result of this. Oops, I'm, oops, my bad. I mean, I'm not yeah. saying oops, my bad, but I am taking responsibility for it. It's, listen, I completely agree with you're Edna that it official, is. You're a public official, you're a voter registrar. For goodness sakes. From a con pathetic. For oh. one, one moment, if I could just interject. From a county commissioner perspective, we will look into this. The, the election. Should, with, with all due respect. If I can just, could just finish. Mr. 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 Yes. With all yeah. due respect. One second. This should have been looked into the minute they were, that, that, that the commissioners okay. were not, okay. uh, were, were back on the election board, or they should have looked into it anyway. Mm -hmm. To actually put this in writing, coming out of the Susquehanna County Courthouse and calling it an official document is a fraud. And paying people to do it, no less. People who are supposed to know what they're doing. Yeah. We will, we you, will investigate that. Thank you, Bruce. Thank you. Where will we find out what wait, the wait, investigation wait, right here. shown, please? Audrey speaking first, please. When documents are typed, generally the initials of the person typing the documents are somewhere on the page. And I have not noticed that anywhere. Mm -hmm. That's a good thought. That's a good thought. And That's secondly, I have a question as to why the voter registration meetings are not taped. A good question. Yeah, that's a good question. Mm -hmm. I don't have an answer to that. I'm sorry. That could be something that we could definitely look into. I was thinking. I thought they were thing. actually. Yeah. It, it, mm -hmm. They are not secret meetings, correct? No. They're no. Not, they're, they're no. They they're should be open. They okay. should be. If I may, yes. I believe there is a motion, motion. on the table, there motion. and there hasn't been a second that has opened anything up to discussion, and yet. Yes. There you go. Yeah, we've got to get some order back to this. Yes. If we can come back to that and then say, yeah. so the motion that the notes from the other meetings be reviewed and update 
the actual meeting minutes for record and then at some point we will have to come back and approve that or I don't know how you guys will handle that that's something that you will just approve the amendment to them so but they need to go back with the notes need to be gone through and corrected and I have a second for that second a second second all right I also have another motion um, in approving these minutes. We have to vote. Oh, no, I'm sorry. We have All to in favor of that. Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Um, I also make another motion that in correction to the November 8, 2019 minutes, um, it says that the meeting was called to order at 10 a.m. and it adjourned at 9.45 a.m. Um, that meeting actually started at 9 and we were out by 9.15. So with that change, do I have a second to that motion? A second. Second that. Okay, all in favor? Aye. Aye. And I would like to make a motion that the county commission look into this thoroughly and report the findings when we discover what went wrong to the public in the near future, but with no time allowed it, as I don't know what that time will take. So if I can please make that motion. I'll second that. All in, all in favor? favor? Aye. Aye. Yes. Does this mean that we're going to rewrite history and we're going to obliterate what we already have? Or are we going to incorporate what we have with what really should have been so that there was a record of both things that occurred? Because I have copies of the minutes and I'm willing to publish them because this cannot stand. So unless you're going to be going back and saying, this is what we said and this is what we really should have said, and initial it and sign it because those, these things aren't even signed even after they're approved mm -hmm. and they're going into the wherever mm -hmm. and they're not signed nobody I mean it says you approved it but mm -hmm. we don't have a signature can I comment I mean ahead, are we read the question on the table is are we rewriting history mm -hmm. or are we going to record history properly and say this is where we screwed up because that's what has to happen. Yeah, I think we do definitely understand your concern, and 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 I too agree. And, and I, I I can't speak for, for Commissioner Arnold. You take responsibility for but, it. But but I believe the the integrity of our courthouse and the transparency and the honesty and is is of utmost importance to to myself. And if I could speak for Commissioner Arnold, Commissioner Allen is um, Hall is not here to to do that. All I can say is that we will look back and from here, from this point, I, I will guarantee that we will do what we can to ensure that you are all aware of what's going on in a very honest, transparent way. Okay? How we handle this, how we tackle that, what that course of action is, that's something that we will have to decide. I think that it is great that we have these conversations where we can openly discuss this and hold each other accountable. Were there mistakes that were had? There, there may have been. It might not have been done intentionally. That is no excuse. I understand that. But I believe we take what mistakes or had errors had happened in the past, and we work from that so that we can improve this. I think having a better system in place where, where you have faith in us, can trust what we're doing, is of the utmost importance. That's why we do this. I think meetings like this are great. We learn from you. Of course you're coming in. We, we hear you. We understand. We do. And let's work together to make this a better situation. But we're not faulting you. We're not saying you're wrong. We're not saying that you're not justified. 100%. But we will, we will do our job to look into that to make sure that this doesn't happen. And we will report to you with what, what we come up with. Ms. Herschel, on, the, yes. on, on that statement that yes. you are not saying that we're wrong, yes. we have the proof yeah. that we're not wrong. Yeah. Yeah. We have the proof that you are wrong. Mm -hmm. And we also ask... You, mm -hmm. and you and you and all of it. Mm -hmm. We want transparency mm -hmm. and we're entitled to it because we're all your, we pay your salaries, yeah, absolutely. number no. one. Yeah, number absolutely. two, when you ran for office, you ran yes. on the basis that you were going to be transparent. Yeah. We expect that. Absolutely. And there is no reason mm -hmm. under, on God's green earth mm -hmm. that this should have come out. There is no reason why these things should have appeared the way they do. This is a haphazard, lackluster, lackadaisical approach mm -hmm. to doing a job. Okay. And, and not only uh, that, okay. it's, a, it's a fraud. And I don't want to, I want to also reiterate that we, we do agree with you, but we are now going in circles with what we're saying. We've got to start to wrap this up. Go ahead. Okay. 
when you finish going in circles, mm -hmm. would the commissioners please consider advertising in local mm -hmm. newspapers, not yeah. Owego, <coughs> not Scranton, right. not Bradford County, put it on the website. Kind it's a de website. deliberate obfuscation. It's probably been going on for a long time. Mm -hmm. And Frank, I know you're new, mm -hmm. et cetera, et cetera, and mm -hmm. Commissioner Arnold, this is her second term. But this is sort of like the swamp or the deep state that runs in the courthouse because you are the power brokers, and this is unacceptable. We understand. I agree with you. Yeah. Colleen? Um, finding a lot of this stuff out in lieu of the last commissioner's meeting who also had a bit of voter fraud with voters being turned away from the voting system, I sure hope that with all of that combined, this whole system is going to have a whole overhaul. Because what I've heard in these last two meetings is very upsetting. And I hope that it pisses everybody off. We agree. Okay. And we had a meeting on Friday. We're looking into everything. We're trying to do the best we can, and we're going to keep moving forward and working on it. And we're working with the chairs of the parties, and we're brainstorming and trying to figure out better ways to do it all. So... I just I want to ask just for the uh, position. Is this Sarah Sisson? It is. I'd like to know what your position is on the board to make that public. Your name and what is your position? Uh, my name is Sarah Sisson, and I was Betsy Arnold's fill-in on the election board for this last election year. So but we're not on it now, but we were approving meeting minutes from when we were sitting as the election board. And so are you still on the election board? As no. of right now, no, because no. the commissioners are back Were on. You, besides being on the election board, did you have a title like director or? Not this year, no, ma'am. Or that when in the past? I do not work. Yeah, prior to prior, this, was I was the director of elections for Susquehanna <laughs> County. She's now our 4-H educator. Correct. I no longer work for the county. Okay, director of elections. That's when all these allegations were made in the director. No. No, ma'am. No. I quit working for the county in January, the beginning of January 2019. You quit? Okay, quit 2019. Okay. So I am... So who was the director then since January 2019? Macy Rudock is currently the director of elections for Susquehanna County. And is she here? No. She's not. She's out on maternity leave. So Can we get a place? Yeah, who takes her place when she's on maternity leave? Melissa's running the office. No. Melissa, and what is her last name? Melissa, Melissa Brungeon. Mm -hmm. May I get a motion to close the election board meeting? I'll make a motion. Can I and I'll second okay. that. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Commissioner's meeting is now closed at 10.07. Is it a commissioner's meeting or is it a election I'm sorry, election board meeting. I apologize. Correction. I close the election board meeting. Yeah.